Good morning, everyone. Welcome to 2023 Incarnation Daily Devotion. I'm Pastor CJ. May God's peace be with you, and may the Word of God work in you today. January 31st, Tuesday, Matthew chapter 5, verses 17 through 20. Do not think that I have come to abolish the law or the prophets. I have come not to abolish, but to fulfill. For truly I tell you, until heaven and earth pass away, not one letter, not one stroke of a letter will pass from the law until all is accomplished. Therefore, whoever breaks one of the least of these commandments and teaches others to do the same will be called least in the kingdom of heaven. But whoever does them and teaches them will be called great in the kingdom of heaven. For I tell you, unless your righteousness exceeds that of the scribes and Pharisees, you will never enter the kingdom of heaven. Amen. In a postmodern context in which almost everything is being deconstructed and in which people increasingly lose faith in institutions, there is no better way to evangelize than with the witness of good works. Religious institutions, just like individuals, are not bad in, in, in of themselves, but lose credibility when they lack integrity. They are corrupted from the inside out for many reasons, among them being the absence of spiritual disciplines that allow the transforming light of Christ to bring their darkness to light. There can be times when churches sin by paying too little attention to the collective disciplines that can place us before sanctifying grace, confession, covenant groups, and mentoring. Attending to these disciplines as an institution or an individual is easier said than done. It can be a great challenge to build safe spaces where we can confess our sins. Because of our fear of being judged, we build our lives in secret. However, sin loses its power over us when we confess it, sustained by a community full of grace and forgiveness. On the wall of our church sanctuary, there was a sign that said that we are a hospital for sinners, not a club for saints. We all share the same humanity. We all have the potential to sin. Therefore, it is important to practice compassion, the ability to suffer with people. Our churches need to take steps toward compassion, vulnerability, transparency, and grace. If we do not practice community life, our justice will not surpass that of the teachers of religious law in Jesus' time on earth. Without these disciplines, we will lose our capacity to shine. Let us pray. God, help us accompany each other on our journey to be more like you. May grace be stronger than judgment. May compassion be stronger than competition. Amen. Once again, thank you for joining this morning, and I hope to meet you tomorrow. God bless you. Have a wonderful day. Bye.